Now, with this understanding then of what the um, GDP levels are, then it's useful to have an understanding of how the business cycle works. The business cycle is kind of looking at this cyclical nature of business performance. That basically the economy moves in a cyclical um, fashion. And um, specifically that what we see is that the economy goes through periods of economic boom and then through times of economic slowness. Um, the slowness, you would have a, a popular term that you know of, which would be the um, kind of a recession. Um, and then you would have peak periods of time as well, which would be your expansionary period up until it reaches a peak. So if we were to organize this over time, that what we see is a cyclical fashion. And if we were to look at the trend line, we would see that it's generally going in the upward direction, meaning that we see um, upward trend meaning that there's positive economic growth and taking this a little bit further here is that we have the top which is known as our peak, the bottom, which is known as our trough, and then we have an expansionary period that leads up to our peak, and we have a contractionary period that leads down to our trough. When you hear the word recession, here it has a specific definition, which would be two consecutive quarters of declining GDP. Now the reason why these are important is because then you want to take on the goal of lengthening the expansionary period and peak and minimizing the contractions in the trough. And economists have mm, taken a lot of credit for ourselves here, but um, economists have generally been successful um, carrying these things out, meaning that we have successfully lengthened the expansions and the peaks, and we have minimized the length of time that the contractions and the troughs are carried out.